Install VMware ESXi with vMedia Policy. Using a UCS vMedia Policy, the mounting of the newly created custom ISO file can be automated without having to manually launch the remote KVM console and connect them one by one. The existing vMedia Policy named Hyperflex must be modified to mount this file, and the boot policy must be modified temporarily to boot from the remotely mounted vMedia file. Once these two tasks are complete, the servers can be rebooted and they will automatically reboot from the remotely mounted vMedia file and install and configure ESXi on the servers. Note that this process is recommended only for new installs or when the policy applies only to the server that's being added. This policy should not be used if it applies to existing production servers as they could be wiped out during a reboot or reboot caused by a power outage. For details on how to create a custom ISO, see the Part 2 video in the Day Zero Configuration Playlist. Log in to the UCS Manager. On the Server tab, navigate to Policies, Root, Suborganizations, HX, vMedia Policies, and vMedia Policy Hyperflex. Click on the green plus button in the work pane to create a vMedia Policy. Enter the name, device type, and protocol. Enter the hostname IP address, which is the IP address for the HX installer where the custom ISO was created the remote file, which is the name of the custom ISO file, and the remote path where the custom image was saved. For details, see Creating a Customized ISO Image of ESX Video. A username and password is not required. Click OK, then click OK again. The new policy appears in the work pane. Still on the Server tab, Navigate to Service Profile Templates, Root, Suborganizations, HX Cluster, and Service Template Compute Node. In the Work pane, click on the vMedia Policy tab. Then click on Modify vMedia Policy. From the drop down list, select the Hyperflex Policy and click OK. Next, change the boot order. Still on the Server tab, navigate to Policies, Root, Suborganizations, HX, Boot Policies, and Boot Policy Hyperflex. As a temporary action for this step only, add booting from CIMC Mounted V Media. Click on Add CIMC Mounted CD DVD. Select it and click Move Up to move it up to number 1. Click Save Changes and then click OK. Note, to begin the installation after modifying the vMedia Policy, Boot Policy and Service Profile template, the servers need to be rebooted. To monitor the progress of one or more servers, it's advisable to open a remote KVM console session to observe the installation. Navigate to Service Profiles, Root, Suborganizations, and HX Cluster. Right-click on HX Compute 1 node and select Reset to reboot the Compute node. Click OK for the Reset action. Select the Power Cycle button and click OK. and then click OK again. This will successfully reset the service profile. Repeat these steps for each compute node that you want to add to the HX cluster. Note that the servers you are monitoring in the KVM console windows will now immediately reboot, boot from the remote vMedia mount, and install ESXi. Navigate to Service Profiles, Root, Suborganizations, and HX cluster. Right-click on the HX Compute 1 node and select KVM Console to launch the Java console.
You should see the console booting from the Cisco Custom Installer via HTTP. Note, once all the servers have booted from the remote vMedia file and begun their installation process, it is very important to undo the changes made to the boot policy. This will avoid applying the ESX reinstall on the existing production servers and accidentally wiping them out, and also prevent the servers from going into a boot loop where they constantly boot from the installation ISO file. Once it starts loading, remove the CIMC mounted CD DVD from the boot order. Navigate back to the boot policy hyperflex. Select the CIMC mounted CD DVD and click Delete. Click Save Changes then click OK. It'll revert to the original boot order we started with.